Hold on to your hats, fossil fans. Today we're diving into the world of ancient predators and trust me, it's going to be a wild ride. Paleontology is a field of discovery, constantly revealing secrets buried for millions of years. It's like a never-ending treasure hunt where each find can change our understanding of the past. Recently we've had two incredible finds that are making waves in the scientific community. These discoveries are not just adding to our knowledge but are also challenging what we thought we knew about ancient predators. These discoveries are shaking up our understanding of ancient predators, offering new insights into their lives, behaviors, and environments. First, we have evidence of a megalodon nursery. Imagine, the massive megalodon shark, one of the most formidable predators to ever roam the oceans, had dedicated breeding grounds. Yes, you read that right. These giant sharks, which could grow up to 60 feet long, had specific areas where they raised their young. This discovery is groundbreaking. The massive megalodon shark had dedicated breeding grounds. These nurseries were likely shallow coastal waters where the young could grow with some protection from other predators. This tells us a lot about how these giant predators lived and raised their young. It also gives us clues about the environment they thrived in, and how they might have interacted with other marine life. Second, we've unearthed one of the oldest theropod dinosaurs ever found. This little guy, though small in size, is a giant leap in our understanding of dinosaur evolution. This little guy gives us a peek into the early evolution of this fearsome group. Theropods, as you might know, eventually gave rise to some of the most iconic dinosaurs, including the mighty T-Rex. Theropods eventually gave rise to giants like the T-Rex, which dominated the land millions of years later. Amazing, isn't it? These discoveries are like time machines. They transport us millions of years into the past, allowing us to piece together the lives of creatures that once roamed the Earth. They transport us millions of years into the past, giving us a glimpse of a world that was vastly different from our own. It's like opening a window to a time long gone. Let's dive deeper and explore these incredible finds. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of these ancient predators and discover what they can teach us about the history of life on Earth. Imagine a 50-foot shark, that's Megalodon, the largest shark to ever patrol the oceans. New evidence suggests these behemoths weren't born giants. They needed safe spaces to grow just like many ocean predators today. Enter the Megalodon nursery. Scientists have uncovered a fossil site teeming with Megalodon teeth, but here's the kicker. Many teeth are from juveniles. This suggests a shallow coastal area where young Megalodons could thrive. These nurseries offered protection from open ocean dangers. Fewer large predators and plenty of prey made for a perfect nursery. The discovery helps us understand how Megalodon grew to such colossal sizes. Nurseries aren't unique to Megalodon. Many modern sharks and other marine predators use them. Why are these safe zones so important? Think about it. Baby predators are vulnerable. They're smaller and less experienced than adults. Nurseries offer a safe haven from predators and a buffet of easy-to-catch prey. This allows young predators to focus on what's important, eating and growing. The safety and abundance of food in nurseries are crucial for the survival of young predators. This strategy has been successful for millions of years. Now let's travel back to the Triassic period, over 230 million years ago. This era marked the beginning of the Mesozoic era, a time when life on Earth was undergoing significant changes. The planet was recovering from the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the most severe extinction event in Earth's history, which wiped out nearly 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The Triassic was a time of recovery and diversification, setting the stage for the dominance of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were just starting their reign. These early dinosaurs were quite different from the massive creatures that would come to dominate the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. They were generally smaller, more agile, and adapted to a variety of ecological niches. The Triassic period saw the rise of the first true dinosaurs, which were initially overshadowed by other reptilian groups like the Pseudosuchians and Therapsids. A new discovery sheds light on the early evolution of the most fearsome dinosaur group, the theropods. Paleontologists have unearthed fossils that provide crucial insights into how these predators evolved. The theropods are a group of bipedal, mostly carnivorous dinosaurs, that would eventually give rise to some of the most iconic predators in history. Theropods were bipedal, mostly meat-eating dinosaurs. They were characterized by their hollow bones and three-toed limbs, which made them efficient hunters. Over millions of years, theropods evolved into a wide variety of forms, 
from the small and agile to the large and terrifying. They included iconic predators like Tyrannosaurus rex, known for its massive size and powerful jaws, and Velociraptor, famous for its speed and intelligence. These dinosaurs have captured the public's imagination and have become symbols of prehistoric life. Our new theropod friend is much older and much smaller than its famous descendants. This discovery is significant because it helps fill in the gaps in our understanding of theropod evolution. By studying these early theropods, scientists can learn more about how these dinosaurs adapted to their environments and evolved over time. This newly discovered dinosaur, named Eoraptor, was small and agile. Eoraptor is one of the earliest known theropods and its discovery has provided valuable information about the early stages of dinosaur evolution. It was likely a fast runner and a skilled hunter of small animals. Its lightweight build and sharp teeth suggest that it was well adapted to catching prey. It was likely a fast runner and a skilled hunter of small animals. Its lightweight build and sharp teeth suggest that it was well adapted to catching prey. Eoraptor's discovery has provided valuable insights into the early days of theropod evolution, showing us how these dinosaurs began to diversify and adapt to their environments. Its discovery gives us a glimpse into the early days of theropod evolution. By studying Eoraptor and other early theropods, scientists can piece together the puzzle of how these incredible creatures came to dominate the prehistoric world. The Triassic period was a time of great change and innovation, setting the stage for the age of dinosaurs that would follow. May not have been as imposing as but its discovery is hugely important. This little dinosaur helps us understand how theropods evolved into the top predators of their time, had features we see in later theropods, sharp teeth, claws, and long legs for running. This suggests these features were already present in early theropods. Finding such an early theropod helps us trace the lineage of these incredible predators. It shows us that even the mightiest predators started small. Section 6. Predators Past and Present. Lessons in Survival. These two discoveries, though separated by millions of years, have something in common. They both reveal the intricate dance of survival that has played out over the eons. From the depths of ancient oceans to the primeval forests, the story of life is one of adaptation and resilience. They highlight the importance of specific strategies for predator survival. Predators have always had to evolve and adapt to their environments to ensure their survival. This is a testament to the relentless pressure of natural selection, which favors those who can outwit, outrun, or outfight their competitors. For Megalodon, it was the development of nursery areas. These underwater sanctuaries provided a safe haven for their young, shielding them from larger predators and giving them a chance to grow. These safe havens allowed their young to grow large enough to survive in the open ocean. The young Megalodons, once they reached a certain size, could venture out into the vast ocean equipped with the strength and skills needed to hunt and thrive. For early theropods like Eoraptor, it was the evolution of agility, speed and sharp claws and teeth. These physical traits were crucial for their survival, allowing them to catch prey and defend themselves against larger predators. These adaptations allowed them to thrive as hunters in the Triassic period. The Triassic landscape was a challenging environment, and only the most adaptable and resourceful creatures could survive. Both examples demonstrate the power of natural selection. Over millions of years these predators honed their abilities, passing on their successful traits to their offspring. Predators that developed successful strategies were more likely to survive and reproduce. This relentless process of adaptation and evolution has shaped the natural world, ensuring that only the fittest survive. The lessons from these ancient predators remind us of the incredible journey of life on Earth, a journey marked by constant change, adaptation, and survival. Section 7. Unlocking the Secrets of the Past. These discoveries remind us that we are still piecing together the story of life on Earth. Every fossil find is a piece of a giant jigsaw puzzle. Paleontologists are like detectives. We use fossils to reconstruct ancient environments, understand ancient ecosystems, and unravel the mysteries of evolution. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the history of life on our planet, and what a story it is. Section 8. The Future of Paleontology, New Discoveries Await. Paleontology is a dynamic field. New technologies and discoveries are constantly changing our understanding of the past. Who knows what incredible fossils are waiting to be unearthed? 
Maybe we'll find evidence of even older theropods, or perhaps we'll discover other amazing adaptations of ancient predators. One thing is certain, the future of paleontology is bright with the promise of new discoveries and groundbreaking insights. Section 9, a final word, our connection to ancient life. The discoveries of the Megalodon nursery, and are not just about ancient creatures, they are about understanding our place in the grand scheme of life on Earth. These discoveries remind us that we are part of a long and interconnected history of life, they inspire us to learn more about our planet, and to protect the incredible biodiversity that exists today. So, the next time you look at a shark tooth or a dinosaur skeleton, remember the long and fascinating journey of life that they represent.